December 16th, 2017. Mesh grow beds welcome. I got a little update on the scorpion peppers. And in the laundry room, of course. Here. I'm going to take this one back outside here in a second. And um, I Trinidad scorpion pepper plant. This is my good one. My other one's outside. Um, and I learned something over the last eight days. Let me take this out. It's so heavy and full of water. I gotta drag it through the house to get it out. All right, I'm gonna trouble with the transition out of the uh, sliding door there, but that'll be okay. All right, first time this has been outside in a week. Or eight days, actually. It got cold the last week. Uh, temperatures in the 40s. Well, actually, there was frost one day. Now, I took this plant inside. It's been inside for eight days. And you can, it's got a lot of blossoms. Actually, all of this grew inside last week. And um, it's got a lot of blossoms on it had even more. The point is, I thought the cold was going to knock all the blossoms off of these plants. This one was inside. Of course, it's doing great. It was always was my better looking plant. Look at the size of that leaf. And there's the best leaf this one ever grew. And this one's always been a real sticky, stemmy looking, not very full plant, but you know, you look at this plant and you say, yeah, it's not very good shape. I counted the other day, there's, well, with the couple new ones that are on here, if you look at this thing, it's covered with peppers. They're everywhere. You can't see them until you start looking, but there's 25 peppers on that plant right now, not counting the three big ripe ones that are on here. But this one, you can see it's got a little crinkly leaf on there here and there from the cold. Um, we didn't have frost in our yard, but the neighbor right on the other side of these trees, um, they had frost all over their yard, it's all white. So I lost a couple leaves on this. This one, even though it was inside, lost probably 20 leaves too, um, just from, you know, they just fall off every once in a while. Here you can see a bunch of them down here. All these leaves just fell off this week, but it also grew, you know, three times as many leaves and buds. Little blossoms starting on there everywhere. So, and a lot of these blossoms that were on there fell off. I couldn't, couldn't understand why. I mean, I kept it over 70, had a pan of water in there, uh, making humidity, um, I thought all of those would set and I'd have a lot more fruit, but I think more, more blossoms fell off of this plant than fell off of the, uh, plant that was out in the frost. And, uh, actually I knocked a few of them off this morning. These ones, those are still on there and they're not falling off. I think a couple fell off, but I mean, look how many peppers are in this thing. Look, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. There's twenty-five on there. I count up to twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Yeah, there's a ton of them on there. And this one's. I just picked up a dozen off of that one. And there's still one, two, three, four, five, six ripe ones. And there's seven ripe ones I got to get off of there that have been on for several weeks. Those are going to be good seeds, too, in those. So, yeah, I got a whole oh, eight, eight ripe ones. One up there. But yeah, it looks like I'm going to have some uh, peppers this year. My babies. Now, these were the ones you really want to keep inside and under a lot of oh, look at that one just popped up um these are my 
chocolate collection. These are the chocolate ghosts. These are more of my scorpion. These are from this plant right here. Like 90% or 99% of those sprouted. And my devil's tongues are doing pretty good over there. Well, my other... Yeah, actually, uh, those got eaten by ants a lot, but still doing okay. So, yeah. Um, cold does not seem to affect the... Uh, plants as bad as I thought it would. Man, there's a lot of blossoms in there. Three. It's like just dozens. I gotta give these some more Epsom salt. So, yeah, that's the way it is. December 16th, 2017. Wow, first sunlight this plant's had in a week. Right there. Except for that little LED light. Cut.